Well, hello, everybody. I'm Angel Tussie, and I am here talking today with Karen to talk about her experience with Media Firestorm. Karen, how are you doing today? I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to brag on you and Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. Okay, so let's um, let's just get started. Give us your name, where you're from, and tell us a little bit about your business. Great. Karen Deloach. I'm from the Charleston, South Carolina area. I'm a longtime artist, art coach, and uh, now online entrepreneur with a great, a lot of experience working with individuals and now groups. So I'm grateful to be here. You can go to getcreativewithkaren.com and, and sign up for my three-part pop-up podcast. Thank you, Jamie and Angel. <laughs> and we can have a chat on how you can have your creativity stirred up. I love it. I love it. We're so excited for you, Karen. Jamie and I have been watching your success, watching your progress. Um, yeah, I think it's a it's a mutually respectful relationship for sure. Now, you just before we went live said this is our actually our one year anniversary of when we did your onboarding call with Media Firestorm. So you were one of our original, you know, case studies, beta testers for the Media Firestorm program. But let's talk about you and where you were at, Karen, before you joined Media Firestorm. Do you remember? Absolutely. I was really, truly looking for some way to get my message out. I feel like I have a message that everybody needs, art is self-therapy, wellness through creativity. And I, I wasn't succeeding in just putting it on Facebook, which I had paid to have people teach me how to do, you know, media and how, how to do social media. You know, I'm of the older generation. We didn't grow up with all of this and all this technology. And I was really looking for this. And I was thinking, you know, I'm a teacher. I love to speak. And so I went to Speakers Playhouse. And that is where I was able to find what you guys were promoting at the time, which was this new beta program. And I thought, podcasting, you know, I, I really hadn't thought about the power of being a podcast guest. I'd been on a couple of podcasts, been part of some summits um, with some other organizations, and I saw how really fruitful they could be. But you were bringing something to the table I had never even thought about. And I jumped on it. I said, yes, this is what I need to bring my business out into the wild world. So I'm grateful. <laughs> I, and so to date, how many podcasts have you been on? I've been on over 75 podcasts since we 75 started. 75 podcasts since we started. And when we first started, there was a whole little incubator phase, right, of creating clarity and um, getting your getting your message tied up. And so tell us a little bit, 75 podcasts, that's pretty amazing. Tell us about some other successes that you've had along the way. Well, I didn't really get rolling with getting my own podcast because like you said, my first couple of months were really getting clarity of like, what is my message? What is my program? What am I trying to share with the world? And so that I didn't really start getting my podcast. I'm not even a year into getting my podcast. I'm really hoping to get that 100 mark by the time by the time of November. I've already got got about 10 more books. So we're getting, we're getting close to our hundred, hundred, hundred podcast in one year goal. You have, yeah. You um, have definitely <laughs> followed the structure, um, you know, methodically, consistently setting those short-term goals every single month. So I love it. You are definitely going to, going to hit those 100, 100 for sure. There's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's a proven process that you guys have developed that just has made made it so simple for people like me that really we we are passionate about our message we're passionate about helping people and we just need somebody who understands the marketplace understands how to reach people help us get there and i have seen you and jamie bend over backwards over and over and over helping us either with technology or with the process getting the clarity and all of us have benefited in so many ways i have to say especially me. <laughs> you are definitely, you definitely get an apple from the teacher <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, so tell us about, about your business. Tell us what you're doing now and the, the fun that you're having. Um, any stories that you might want to share? Well, it, it's exciting to me as I get on all of these different kinds of podcasts and you, you make it very easy to find ones that are in either the wellness arena, which I am, or the education arena, um, because I've been a teacher for so long and, and really try to meet, m match me with my 
perfect clients. And that, that has, has just made a huge difference. When I, when I'm on a podcast and I'm relating the words and the messages that you guys have helped me craft, I see the excitement in the podcasters. I feel the response of the audience and I, and, and the, and I know that I'm making a difference in people's lives. And that just is really at my age, it's more important than anything to know you're making a difference. And, and some of the things that have really touched me deeply because I've been in about five other programs before I found you guys is the transparency that you and Jamie have brought to the table as business owners yourselves. You're not getting us to do things that you haven't done. You're, you're not trying to persuade us into a process that isn't already either proven or been you've been tracking yourselves. And if we need to be tweaked, which I've been tweaked <laughs> on, okay, do I really want to fill up my life with individual one-on-ones or do I want to go group? So this is a, a pivot that I'm doing now. And then it was like, okay, well, how do I bring them from liking me and liking my message to actually becoming customers? And so Jamie's brought me into this world of of emailing. And I tell you, even though I'd heard it before, it's something that I had resisted because of not really understanding how to make it happen. And so being taken by the hand at great personal <laughs> sacrifice on, on your business's part, taking me into the, the realm of where now I have freedom to really sow into and nurture the people that are on my list that have shown interest in what I'm talking about and creating a, a fan base and, and a customer base of loyal people that, that are having testimonies from me on how my message has changed their lives. I tell you, nothing, nothing can match that. Oh my gosh, Karen. Well, you, you're just, you're so much fun. In fact, every time I listen to one of your podcasts that you promote out on social media, I end up getting a bunch of ads for other art classes and products and um, yeah, all these art demonstrations. So it is definitely making an impact. I think Media Firestorm, one of the things with our, our daily short-term goals you send an email, you apply to a podcast. Like this is, this is not rocket science, but it does. In fact, I think I created a new phrase today. One a day, one a day creates a business that pays. Um, <laughs> so there's my, there's my new little phrase. So um, now that you've got here, right now that we've got a year under us, you've created this really great foundation. Now you have a system, you now you have a strategy that is working for you. What kind of doors is that opening or what is that going to allow you to do going forward, Karen? Well, having had this experience has now opened the doors for me. Like I have two workshops scheduled for October where a workshop of coaches have asked me to come in and, you know, speak my message, which I've gotten to do internationally now. You know, I, I got to do it in London in December and twice in in, in Cancun, Mexico, um, and then in Charleston, South Carolina in the spring. And now I'm going to get to do it again, live sessions that's recorded to go out and where I get to meet people that have groups that may want me to come in to give my message into either corporate situations or businesses or groups that want to hear how they too can have their creativity from their right brain inspired to help problem solving, help you get over brain fog, get release of serotonin, the happiness chemical, feel that fulfillment and joy that having fun creating does for us and being able to share that with them, actually doing some with them and inspiring them individually and as a group of how to touch base into that creative realm that we all have. We're all creatives. We're born that way. Uh, you know, that just like um, Albert Einstein said, um, Im imagination, creativity is the imagination. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Creativity is intelligence having fun. So how much do we need to have fun in our lives and still be more brilliant as a result? So I have this message and these opportunities now that are opening up. Um, if you Google artist self-therapy, guess what comes up? My podcast, you know, I'm building this really literally worldwide audience that I never, never would have had access to without Media Firestorm. Oh my gosh, Karen. Well, you are on fire. And I just got your email this morning talking about being creative and all the things that that does for us. I think um, I had taken a, a little assessment. This was a couple of years ago. And fun was the one thing that was lacking in my life. And you allow us and create a way that we can have fun and incorporate that every single, every single day. Um, <laughs> art 
Wait a minute. We'll say that again. What's the website again? Art. Get creative with Karen.com. Get creative with Karen.com. Creative with Karen.com. But then the art with art is self therapy. Is that what you said? Yeah. Art as self therapy. Yeah. Wellness through creativity, art as self-therapy, wellness through creativity. And it's, it's a message of hope for a lot of people that are fighting depression or fighting, not Mm -hmm. feeling purpose or legacy, or they're stuck in their careers. Maybe they have brain fog. They were, they, you know, they went through those last few years of, of COVID and shutdowns and they're not feeling like they're, they're full potential is being realized in their lives. And, and these are things I have some simple ways that people can, can, can find out about to enhance their own wellness, their sense of well-being and wellness. And it really brings healing. And that's, what's exciting to me. I'm working with an elderly man who was an engineer, very left brain um, business. And he, love finding out about art and he started taking all these classes and then unfortunately he was diagnosed with parkinson's disease and he was finding he could no longer paint and draw his right hand was shaking and his son had been to one of my workshops and said you need to meet my dad well he's in connecticut i'm in south carolina but hello zoom we can have classes together well, suddenly he's drawing left-handed. I was teaching him these techniques on learning to draw left-handed, which brought him into his right brain. It is. It, it, he had a friend of his contact his son and say, whatever is happening with your dad with this art, it's changing him. He's not depressed. He's getting out more. He also started accidentally picking up the pen or pencil with his right hand and was succeeding. So there was, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I've read a lot of studies and found out that scientists do even understand how the arts work to heal us, but they do. And so seeing this older man, man, you become buddies when you see people make that kind of progress and, and have their life changed and get out of depression and find hope and get out and, and get to be creative and do their art again is un matched in joy that it brings even to me oh my gosh well karen you do bring hope you do bring joy everywhere you go i've listened to you on podcasts you are a dynamite guest i'm so excited i can't wait to celebrate your 100th podcast (laughs) guesting interview with you and we will celebrate big time and the 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 impact that you are making i think that's one of the things when somebody joins media firestorm the Jamie and I are looking like, do they have a message that's going to make an impact? And, and, you know, the thing that you're selling, does it matter? Is it going to make a difference in people's lives? And Karen, you absolutely are rocking it every step of the way. Um, If someone is thinking about joining Media Firestorm or learning more about the program, what would you say to them? Do it. Do it. You (laughs) will not regret it. I promise. I I don't promote everybody's businesses. I'm not even talking about the ones that didn't work for me. I'm not trying to disparage them, but they were not able to meet me where I am and take me where I want to go like Jamie and Angel and Media Firestorm has. They have integrity. They have their own sense of desire to make a difference in people's lives. So just signing up for the program isn't their final purpose. Their final purpose is to see their their clients succeed. And you can't beat that. And it's hard to find that kind of integrity in this kind of marketplace. I've looked for years and years and, and nobody nobody has done a better job than this company oh my gosh karen oh my gosh well we are (laughs) so in alignment and so excited to see you growing and improving and shining and getting your message out so one more time what is the best way for the audience to connect with you Get creative with Karen.com. Go get my three part podcast. Contact me. How can I help you find your own avenues of creativity? It's in your right brain waiting to be explored and stirred up. It's my superpower stirring up the creative in others. Let me do it for you. <laughs> oh, her superpower stirring up the creative in others. She will do that for you. Karen, thanks so much for being with us today. I appreciate you so much. Likewise. <laughs> Blessings.